All right, we software developers all love thinking that we know how to build anything and everything better than the others. But sometimes well-maintained pre-made solution just makes sense to you. So you don't get caught up on working something for months before market validation. <laughs> That's especially true for freelancers, indie makers, or small teams. Today I'm sharing five must-known services to avoid reinventing the wheel. Let's get into it. First up, Clerk, because who doesn't love an easy to implement secure authentication system, right? Clerk is a modern, simple, customizable solution for authentication and user management. It comes with built-in UI components, it comes with passwordless authentication, MFA and even Web3 login at this point. Using their docs, it's pretty straightforward on how to integrate with major web and mobile frameworks like Next, Remix or React Native, and also with databases and other platform as a services like Superbase or Azure or Firebase. But it's not limited to use with these. You can simply use it with your own Node or Rails backend. If you want alternatives, you can check out the well-known O0, one of the most long-lived and, and original ones from the same offering. Or you can check out Firebase Authentication. There are a few differences. Clerkpandev offers a much more uh, easier and major developer experience. Firebase kind of contributes to vendor lock-in. Because using Firebase Authentication is going to make it easier to use Firebase security rules with the database and real-time databases, but it makes it harder to opt in for a different authentication solution or a different database solution. Number two, streamline your project management with Linear. Linear is an intuitive project management tool designed specifically for software development teams. I started using this with my teams in like 2021 and I never look back. It's fast. It's intuitive, it's easy to use, it, it generally beats the competition in every single aspect possible. It's opinionated, it's designed specifically for product development teams, so there's no need to deal with mammoth software that's as slow as a half a sleep turtle going backwards in quicksand. Looking at you, Jira. If you're looking for alternatives, Trello and Hyatt are both excellent choices for managing your projects. Trello is a more visual and flexible approach with its card-based interface. It's much, much less opinionated compared to Linear. While Hyatt is another comprehensive suite of tools to manage tasks, timelines, team collaboration, and in general, product development. Next up, tip number three, Automate like a boss with Zapier. Using a no-code tool like Zapier to automate recurring tasks and chores boosts my productivity, my team's productivity, and saves me so much time and money that I can't even tell you at this point. Zapier has like three or five thousand different apps to integrate with. Their interface is so user-friendly, they help you create a truly seamless workflow to running your app and your back office pretty smoothly. For example, they make pretty easy to integrate uh, your business uh, bank accounts and connect your AP AR accounts to your actual invoicing software and accountants so you don't ever need to deal with this. That's pretty dope. Oh hey, and if you dig these recommendations, make sure that you subscribe to the developer emails. You'll get fresh handpicked tools straight to your inbox every other week. You can check it out on the description below. If you're looking for alternatives for automation, you can check out Integromat and Naden.io. That's N A N that I owe for even more automation goodness. Integromat offers a visual builder for creating complex integrations, while Naden is an extendable self-hosted workflow automation tool. All right, tool number four, Stripe. Accepting payments is obviously a crucial part of every single business application, right? Stripe's API and developer experience just makes handling billing and payments in your application a breeze. They support like more than a hundred currencies at this point and a few dozens of, of countries. Their API is pretty robust. Their community, the, the open source community behind it with all of the tutorials that's available. It's quite easy to find a great tutorial. And with Stripe now, you can also manage subscriptions, billing, uh, and also it's available like half no-code solution. You can create billing portals. You don't need to deal with credit card information directly on your website. You can just direct your users to a hosted Stripe billing portal. It's pretty cool. A huge part of modern projects, startups and developers love to use Stripe. Most of the users are already familiar with Stripe's interface. You've probably seen Stripe a million times by now. What alternatives do we have? Sometimes there are different options for different countries. Obviously, there's PayPal, there's Braintree, and also there's Pedaland. Adyen, I think it's called Adyen. 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 
Adyen. So there's also Braintree, PayPal, Adyen and Paddle. All offers their own end-to-end -end payment solutions. PayPal is in a completely different league. It's not for credit card payments, it's rather for PayPal payments. Uh, but Adyen and Paddle all offer end-to-end -end payment solutions. The main difference is that Paddle works as a merchant of service and that means they handle all the different taxation. There's no need to deal with sales taxes, there's no need to deal with uh, EU VAT or any other taxations used by different countries. I recommend Pedal just as much as I recommend Stripe at this point. Alright, last but not least, number 5, the one and only, the ultimate, the GOAT, Notion. Is the ultimate all-in-one workspace, perfect for indie developers, small teams, freelancers. You can use it to manage your FAQs, manage ticketing, manage CRM, roadmaps, you can set up to use some public pages, career page. It's extremely flexible, modular structure, thousands of different templates. Notion so flexible that it allows you to use for like kind of anything in your business administration process. For us, I'm using Notion as my second brain, so it's a complete research tool for me. I also use Notion to build a single source of truth for my team with who's who, roadmap, goals, engineering guidelines, QA guidelines, pull request guidelines, templates, links. You can also use it as a client HQ. So you can set up a single source of truth for your clients. They be able to only log into their Notion page and they're gonna be able to see the project status, the stuff that depends on them, last payments, invoices, materials, resources, and whatever else you can imagine. If you need alternatives, give Airtable and CraftDocs a try. They are both fantastic tools to manage your administrative tasks. Airtable is a bit different compared to Notion and Craft. Airtable is more like a super powered Excel sheet. It combines spreadsheets with databases in a visually appealing way. And they have plugins, so the possibilities are limitless. Like CraftDocs, Pretty much the same as Notion, but in a more visually pleasing way. And there you have it, five game-changing services for indie web makers. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons because I share new web dev magic every single week and you don't want to miss some. Oh and hey, keep the conversation going. Drop a comment down below to your must-have services or even better alternatives. Until next time.